everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching so in this video I was inspired by my romper right here where I totally forgot where I got it but that's besides the point so I went to do like a summer vibe look going on so this is a look I came up with it's kind of like a blue mermaid vibes type of thing I want to like I said match my romper and I really like how it came out so if you guys want to see how I get this look then please keep watching so first I'm going to start with primer. I already moisturized my face and all that jazz. I'm going with the Honest Beauty Everything Primer in Glow. I'm putting this kind of like on my cheekbone area because I want it to have a nice highlight down my nose, wherever my pores are. So for foundation, I'm using like I do in like all my videos, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the color 490. Love this one, especially for summer. It's very um, airbrush and all. I love it. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. So next I am going in with a dark contour. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 175 Warm Chestnut. It's going to be contouring around my face. I'm gonna miss this tip up a little bit and I feel like my, I'm gonna look like I have a crooked nose. Okay, then I'm going to be blending that out. For my nose, I'm just gonna be taking this kind of like not really dense brush, I wish it was, um, and just kind of pinching it and blending that out. Okay, so I know you could still see my contour down my nose, but I'm going to fix that later and like blend it out. I'm going to be cutting concealer on. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Fair Warm. I said this in my previous video. It's literally my favorite right now. I absolutely love it. It's so creamy. It gives just like the perfect blend. I love it. A little down my nose and right here then I'm going to blend that out with my damp beauty blender all blended out I'm just going to Bake. I'm gonna be using my own revolutionary. It's just a loose setting powder, no sparkle or anything. Putting it right into the cap, taking my beauty blender, setting under my eye. Okay, so next we are moving on to eyes. Actually, I'm gonna do eyebrows first. So for eyebrows, I am using the Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows, fill them in. Then I am taking the MYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. It broke, but that's what it looks like. And just using this first color right here and just filling in like right at the top of my eyebrow and right here just so the pencil doesn't make it look that sharp and just blending that all together so eyebrows are done now i'm going on to eyes so for eyes i really wanted i was like inspired by this oh romper that i have here i've really been wanting to do like a blue look lately and from this bh ultimate matte 42 color palette i really like these color blue right here i just hope it doesn't look purple so i might mix it with this dark blue um i also have some peach there's a peach color there i don't know if i'm gonna use it or if this is just gonna be like an all blue look but first i just kind of want to like swatch this color so this is what it looks like so that's what it looks like on my finger i'm gonna put it on my hand i'm a little scared to use it but Let's just do it. So first I'm going to take fluffy blah, 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 a fluffy brush like this and just doing a transition color. I'm going in with a really light color. I want to do this brown right here next to the dark brown. And just putting that all over my lid as like a transition color. Okay. 
Okay, so you could see that just kind of like is a base. I feel like I always have to do transition color to kind of like just not slap on the blue right away. I'm kind of nervous to do the blue. I hope it comes out good. I'm going to put it on with just a flat brush like this. I'm going in with that blue. Hopefully you like it. Okay, not bad. Putting that all over my lid. It's actually really pretty, I like it. It's not bad. I just hope it doesn't look purplish in like pictures. So I'm just kind of filling it up. Am I going with that darker blue? I don't know that. So let's see. I think I might put that peach over it, but I'm kind of vibing this blue just how it is. So it is really pretty, you can see that. Not bad, I'll do the other eye. All right, I'm going to take this uh, brush right here. It's a kind of more of a dense blending brush. I'm going with that darker blue right here. Going in like the outer corner of my eye. Holding the brush lower down, that way I get like a lighter hand. So I'm gonna kind of like bring it out a little bit. I'm gonna like brush it over kind of where I did that transition shade. I don't know if I like it. I should have just left the blue. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Not bad. I'm getting like mermaid vibes, which isn't a bad thing. Should I end the peach? Just like right in here. I'm gonna do it because I feel rebellious today. So taking this like peachy pink color right here because I have some of that in my outfit. Going like above that other darker blue color. Okay, I actually do like that because let me zoom you guys up a little bit. You can't really tell it's on, but it gives like a slight peach vibe. Like right above that blue, which is really pretty. I like it a lot actually. That's what it looks like. I always forget to zoom you up when I do this. I'm sorry, um, but I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna do a wing though. I think I might just do, I don't know where my angled brush is. That's kind of depressing. I could use this smudge brush. Go along my, I don't know if I should do a liner. I'm doing a liner. I'm doing a liner. Ah. All right, so liner, I'm just using, uh, what do I always use? The slim one, it's all faded. I don't know what it is, but any black lit liquid liner, they're good to go. So I'm just gonna zoom this, uh, fast forward this part because I can't talk and do liner. <sighs> ah. Okay, these are probably the worst wings I've ever done in my life. This one's like chunky and thick and this one's thin. This, I can't, I can't, but whatever. Whatever, I'll just move on with our life. I'm gonna be putting lashes on, so I'm just gonna prep my eye with the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, just before we go in with the lash. For lashes, I am going with the Ardell Remy Lashes. I used in my last video, they're really pretty and thick, very dramatic. This is a dramatic look, so might as well go dramatic. I'm just gonna pop these suckers on. For some reason, these eyelashes are the hardest ones to put on. I think because they're so thick and heavy, my right eye never comes out as good as my left. I don't know why, but I like the regular like Ardell Wispies one, but these, you know, they're dramatic, so I like dramatic. And my left always comes out better than my right. Never fails me, I don't know why, just always does. Oh gosh. Okay, so I'm going to wipe away my bait with just a brush like so. Okay, so bronzer. I'm going in with the Revlon Skin Lights. I like it because it has like a little shimmer and 110 sunlit glow. Do a little glow and just go right over the contour. And for blush, I am going in with the Milani 01 Dull Shape pink 
for highlight, I am going to use MAC Soft and Gentle. And I just got all oh, my thumb. Mac, that's annoying. I don't know where to put it now. So I'm just going to be using this fine tip brush right here. Going down the bridge of my nose. Just like that. You can see a little glow. I'm just going to be putting that right in the corner of my eye, but like almost on my lid. See that right there, and just a little bit on my cubic bow, like so. Next is under eye. I'm just gonna be going in. I'm actually gonna go in with my powder for my eyebrows, and doing a little bit of the other brown, and just doing like a drop shadow right underneath, so it's not too plain underneath. I don't want to do go too dramatic with the blue. but I needed like a little something under there. So I kind of like how that all blends together and then my eyes are tearing. Oh, so I'm just adding mascara on the bottom, going with the L'Oreal Voluminous. Okay, so last is lip. I actually just discovered this right next to me. It's the NYX Soft Matte Cream in SML C58 San Francisco. And I kind of like the peach look and I really kind of want to do it. See, it matches. I think I'm going to do a little crazy with this look. So I'm going to line my lip first with... So I'm going to line my lip with the Tawny uh, Jordana in the color Tawny. I like these colors because they're very creamy. Jordana-like brand. So this is, like I said, matte color. Okay, and that does it for this look. I actually really like this lip color with this eye. I think it blends pretty well. And like I said, it kind of matches my outfit too. So I definitely like this one. Um, it's very like summer vibes, which I'm feeling. So yeah, this is the final result. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see next. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.